Here he is, Mike Wilmot. How you doing? I've been with the same woman now for 22 years of my life, and uh, it's not out of love, it's spite, really. I'm not leaving her, that, that would make her happy. But after 22 years, I guarantee, I wake up every morning, I walk down the stairs, and I think, you know, today's the day I kill her. I'm gonna sneak up behind her and hit her in the head with a chair, she won't see it coming. And I know she's walking behind me down those stairs thinking, I'm gonna kick him. I'm gonna kick him down the stairs. And I'm gonna put a screwdriver in his eye. And then we end up circling each other in the kitchen. Fuck, I hate you, I hate you. Uh, then we have tea and toast and everything's better. And that's why breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Because literally, honest to Christ, I, you know, I've given up. That's why I'm having fun in my relationship now, because I've given up. You, 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 you'll never win with women, because women don't get tired of the fight. <laughs> so I just, I, I always think of it, when it comes to my relationship, I just work there. I have no fucking clue what we're doing. <laughs> I hand her money, and I run. <laughs> See, I used to talk about sex. That used to be my whole act, but I'm 46. I smoke pot, I drink. I smoked, I had an erection last year. I think it was November. But I was in the tub, so it could have been floating. I'm not sure. But so what's happened are my, my balls have dropped to such a degree now that I can't make love because of the noise they make. Sort of a slap, slap, bangity, bang, bang, slap, slap, bang. I'm coming up with excuses, honey. I think kids are throwing meat at the windows again. <laughs> I did that joke at a marijuana fundraiser, and I could hear the potheads in the audience look at each other going, what, what kind of meat do you think it is? Like a, like a flat meat, some kind of pastrami maybe, a meatball? I'm hungry. And then they left. My point is, my balls have dropped. They're so far down there now that when I do it doggy style, periodically one of them comes up from behind me and taps me on the shoulder. And then when I spin around in surprise, I punch her in the mouth with the other one. I really, really wish I could do that in real life. Because it's the only kind of spousal abuse you can get away with because it's... It's hurting me way more than it's hurting her. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm glad to be back in, in Australia. Wonderful sense of humor here, unlike... Uh, I, I just did uh, some shows in, in Finland, and uh, holy Christ, the Dutch are off the hook for being the dullest people on the planet. The, the Finns, I don't know what to tell you about the Finns, really, more than... When you tell them jokes, they, they really, you can see them looking at you like, these are lies. <laughs> He's never hit his wife in the face with his ball sack. <laughs> That's all I know about him, really. That and every toilet in Finland has a hose coming out the ceiling to wash their ass with. I don't know what that tells you about a group of humans. <laughs> They've got clean asses, I guess. That's what it tells you. So if you're ever forced at gunpoint to eat chili out of someone's ass, pick a fin, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And on that note, give to the poor. Thank you very much. See you later. <laughs>